Hey, dude, didn't do that. Say what up? It's your boy, Dude Mungus, and we're back with another episode. Whew, this episode by far was the hardest episode I've ever had to make in my entire life. So this is the episode where we do the memorial ride for my nephew. Uh, and you will notice this format is a little bit different because this format is seriously geared more towards the family. I want the family to be able to go to one spot and be able to watch a memorial in its entirety. So this episode is seriously like double the length of what it normally would be. But it is what it is. And it's seriously, it's okay. That, like I said, this is seriously geared more towards the family. Now, this episode, is emotions are high. This is is really raw. You guys know we did the, uh, the memorial wrap for my nephew on the 17th of November, and we just hit December. So it took me a while to get through this one and process it because it was just, this was just tough, man. So again, emotions are extremely high on this one, but this is uh, one of the greatest honors I've ever had in my life was to be able to support my nephew and the family in this way by putting on a memorial route for him so without further ado this is it man and i appreciate you guys seriously man i appreciate you guys y'all be easy get it wise hot the dude mung is three thousand what do you want from me no monkey Say what up, it's your boy Dumongus. How y'all doing, man? I, whew, I really hate to be making this episode, bro. I, I really do. Um, today is the uh, today is the memorial ride for my nephew. Uh, my nephew, Quez, man, Jack Quez. He was, if you know him, man, you loved him, bro. He was an awesome guy, full of positive energy, had a smile that would light up the freaking atmosphere, man. Just a good-hearted kid man he was 25 you know i say going to some you know i trust in god that he never makes a mistake this one i do not understand i can't lie guys i am ah i'm struggling to, uh, uh, hold on i'm struggling uh I'm trying to get it together i'm struggling a little bit with this one that was uh that was my dude uh that was a that was my nephew after my own heart my man uh he loved cars his uncle loved cars he loved to play the drums his uncle plays the drums and uh that boy loved bikes bro <laughs> that boy loves some dango bikes and that dude could ride man like even though he had only been riding for a few years compared to how long I've been riding. That dude, he was a much better rider than I am. That dude was a beast. <laughs> I remember going up to, hold on. I remember going up to uh, Blood Mountain once and I was like, oh, let's go, nephew. He was like, oh, yeah, 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 dude. <laughs> he straight up roasted me up there. <laughs> I was like, dang, nephew. I didn't know you was rolling like that. <laughs> So I'm gonna I'm miss that boy, man. I would, I am going to miss that dude, bro. Uh, the last thing he said to me was, "I love y'all." 
I, that boy would not let us finish the conversation without saying, I love you, aunt. And uh, my nephew, he was at, um, he was that type of family that came around that didn't, they didn't want nothing, bro. They just, just wanted to hang out, hang around. So he would come around uh, a lot of times after church. I'm on the way to church now. He would come a lot of times after church. He would meet us at church service, enjoy church service with us, and just be like, aunt, what are we doing? I'm just like, you tell me, bro. We would hang out for no reason, didn't need a reason to hang out, just hang out, so. So, uh, Coys, I'ma miss you, bro, I can't lie. I'ma try to get through this day. I'ma try to get through this day without, without, without dropping too many tears, because I know, I know you want me to be happy. I know you want me to keep pushing. That push is gonna be a little bit difficult, more difficult without you here, though, I can't lie. But, I'm gonna keep pushing for you, my dude. I'm gonna keep pushing. Today, I'm not gonna forget you, bro. But I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. I love you, nephew. I love you. Dang, dude. Dang, nephew. I got some new stuff and some uh, some new ideas to share with you, man. So you woulda you woulda loved this jacket I got on, Def. You <laughs> you woulda loved this jacket, bro. <laughs> oh man, you woulda loved this jacket, bro. I got Def. You, we gonna talk, bro. We got oh, man. I got a lot of ideas we gonna talk about, bro. Ah, I love you, nephew. All right, dude, do this. We are back. We heading over to Nephew's Memorial Ride. Nephew, we gonna make this a good one, bro. We had an amazing church service. I'm feeling a bit better, sir. It's still it's still tough, but I'm feeling a bit better. So we heading over to the Memorial Ride for my nephew. Uh, we got a few people coming in from out of town, which I gotta just stop and say thank you to everyone who's reached out to me and the family, offering your, uh, your prayers, your thoughts, your condolences. I really appreciate it. The love that was poured out was actually so overwhelming. Like, I literally could not get to all the messages. And, yo, I appreciate you guys even taking the time to be like, yo, we praying for you, Mungus. My condolences. I seriously appreciate that. Me and the family do not take that lightly. So, I, I just wanted to take that moment and say thank you to everyone. So, we're going to make this a fun ride. We're going to make it a good ride. And, nephew, man, this is for you, bro. Nephew, this is for you. But I'll check back in with y'all once we get over there.
and um, I'm not gonna do it, but coming out uh, for my nephew. Um, everyone that met him loved him. We want this ride to be about him, right? I don't care if you do the best wheelies in the world, not today. I don't care if you're the fastest person on two wheels, not today. We want to show mom that we loved him. So we want to come out and force. We want to be a unit. Let's stay solid. Let's stay together for Jacquez. Because y'all know that's how he was, man. He loved everybody. He came through with a smile. He's going to make you smile because he smiled. This is for Jacquez, man. And I cannot thank y'all enough from the bottom of my heart for coming out. Because y'all didn't have to. But I appreciate y'all coming out. I appreciate y'all showing, showing mom some love because mom wasn't like, nah. She was like, do what you're passionate about, son. Do you. So, as a unit, let's be here for Jacquez. And let's show mom, let's show the family that, yo, we love y'all. Right? So, how this is going to go. The starting off is going to be a little sketchy because of where we got to get to. So when we leave here, I'm going to wait on this plane because y'all ain't going to be able to hear me over this plane. Get something to drink. You use the restroom. Make sure you got enough petrol to make it. We're going to do there. And then, you know, we're not blazing this ride. We just, we just chilling with Jacquez. Once we get to the end location, myself, mom, and Mustang GT will park in the middle. Everyone else just around us. It's a cul-de-sac. And at that time, we will have words from the family. I will try to get through without getting choked up, but we will have words. All right, is everyone good? Is anyone unclear on what's going on? The people that just pulled up. Yeah. They're going to have to get in where they fit in, and we'll talk to them one-on-one. <laughs> -on -one. Everybody good? Yep. All right, break. <laughs> We about to start lining up. Oh, you're right here with her. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Lord, we ask that you will be safe on this ride. Lord, I ask that you would cover us. Lord, I ask that you would allow this to show the family and give the family some strength during this difficult time. God, let no one be hurt. Let us get to our destination safe and let everyone get home safe. In Jesus' name, amen. Javi, well, appreciate, appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. They won't be behind the last car, right? Yeah, the last car. Oh, do they? You get, you get.
y'all coming out B the other Q <laughs> Kayler made I appreciate y'all coming out man Ugh, I can't lie y'all this has been difficult I'm trying to trying to get out that funk you know I love that dude man I love that dude and this this is all for you nephew man man thank y'all so much man thank y'all bro like seriously bro so yeah my nephew rode bikes was in the cars worked on cars played drums and i did all of those things <laughs> so man, it was super dope man super dope man nephew man i cannot say this enough bro i love you bro this is dope this is dope i'm so i love you i love you i'm so glad i could do this for mom Man, this is so dope, nephew, bro. You got to be seeing this, nephew. You got to be seeing this, nephew. Nephew, bro. Nephew, you got to be seeing this, nephew. This all for you, bro. <laughs> this all for you, bro. Let's go, man. Oh, shout out to my man, Q, bro. I called them with this, and I was like, yo, I have this idea. I am taxed with this. And they was like, whatever you need, Mungus, bro. My boy. My dude. Good man. Perfect. This is perfect, bro. Perfect. <laughs> that is so dope, bro. You got the city out, nephew. You got the city out, nephew. Cool. Look, man. Hey, we got you, bro. We got you. We got a lot of people blocking for us, which is freaking awesome. Keeping everybody safe, keeping everybody together as a group. My man Fresh, my man rode in from out of town to be here for me, bro. Thank you. Man, this is dope, man. And this ride, I know it's for my nephew specifically, but this for anyone that's done lost somebody this year, bro. Like, we know, we know what we do. We know the passion we have, and we know some of the consequences that come along with it, you know. And for this to be a non-at-fault incident, man, makes it, makes it harder, you know. Um, but this is for anybody, man, bro. We all, we know how it goes, man. We lose friends, we lose loved ones to this passion, but there's nothing else like it, bro. Nothing else compares to it, bro. And it's something that we are not willing to let go, something we holding on to. Appreciate my man Fresh for also giving me my bandana. I didn't know this, but this is what you ride on your bike, you fly on your bike when you lost someone. So I appreciate my man giving me one for this occasion, man. Like. People don't have to do stuff like that. Like he bought a bandana. Yo, Mung, is this for you? Let me make sure I get this to you. And I, that's just, that's dope. But again, this is for anybody, man. I know we lost PJ early this year. Um, countless others, man. Jamal a few months ago. And now my nephew, man. So we just, it's going to take all of us working together to stay healed. But I know my nephew wants me to push through. So I'm going to push. I'm going to push, nephew. Woo! Bike circle around. Bike circle around. Circle around. Circle around. Circle
over there that my sister is holding. If everyone could just sign it, you ain't got to be all big. I know we got some artists out here, but let's be conscious because we got a lot of people out here. So everybody can sign it so mom can look back and see, like, the city love Jacquez. So I appreciate y'all. I'm going to stop talking because I am not going to be able to keep going. But if any other family want to have words, we have mom, we have wifey, we have dad, we have brother over here. So if anybody want to have words, the floor is open. I'm going to try to say it loud like dude Mung is here. But as I was riding and I saw in my rearview mirror the love, me and Jaquez literally have sat down. So y'all don't know, I'm a young mama. And he always called me his sister mama because we grew up together. And we sat down and we planned. Mm -hmm. I would start off in the slingshot and I would get my motorcycle license and we would have our own biker gang. Me and him had our own biker gang in our head before he even <laughs> came and found y'all. And so to see that even in his passing, he made sure mama's in her slingshot and with her biker gang, because now y'all are my family too. And I want y'all to know, this is always a safe place to come. You come visit, it's a place of peace. Y'all let me know if there's anything that I can do for y'all, I'm always here. Me and my husband, this was his stepdad, who raised him from two, who got him into cars and speed. And I'm telling y'all, this Quez is smiling right now from ear to ear. And I want y'all, I don't even care about my neighbors, make as much noise as you need to, because that's what he likes to do as y'all roll out. And I just want to say I appreciate y'all. This brought so much joy to my heart. And as I just cried and rolled, I feel like this was the most authentic send off for Jaquez that you could ever have imagined. And so I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. I just want to thank everybody for the, uh, for the love that y'all shown. Y'all family. Yo, it's, it's beautiful. You know, like, this beautiful thing, I don't see other than my honey bunny. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all do me two things. Count of three, can y'all yell my Jacquez name out loud as y'all can so the heavens can hear. And also, can everybody start the engine and just rev it one good time at the same time. Jacquez! everybody here that the people in his day-to-day -day life didn't get to see or saw the remnants of it when he came home and talked about the ride and you know the new people he met and the bonds that he shares with everybody it's just a beautiful thing to see I am just happy to see how much love y'all expressed for him um, it means a lot 
means a lot to see everybody here. Cool. So thank you so much for being a safe haven for him and being, you know, uh, an extra avenue of freedom for him. And he's going to be with all of us, especially y'all on the road. Well, I'm a little brother, everybody. Um, I just got to say I enjoy that y'all been with him on this journey of him loving motorcycles, even starting from the 500, you know. My brother used to do some dumb stuff, but I enjoyed it, you know. <laughs> even driving reckless, you know, growing up with him. You know, the constant burnouts, the smoke, I enjoy all of it because that's how we grew up, this, you know. Tire smoke smell good to me, you know. <laughs> For real. And I really thank all of y'all, you know. All the horsepower that's here, thank all y'all, you yeah. know. Y'all really showed out for Quez. Like, Quez will show out for y'all. Y'all know he'll be the wildest one at the meets. Mm -hmm. So, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. Oh, yeah, come on, Mitt. Yeah, yeah. you small. See nobody here. Yeah. <laughs> that's my little big sister, y'all. Yeah. It's Mickey Splickety. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I've been trying to muster up the strength to say something. Um, each day, I really, to be honest, still speechless, um, still hurt. But uh, just like William said, Jacquez never ever ended a conversation without saying, I love you, Auntie. Yeah. Like literally, those were his last words to me. Um, and the last day I seen him, he was bum rushing my trucks. <laughs> trying to take all the good candy for Halloween before all the little kids got to it. Um, but that's just who he was. He didn't care how much I beat up on him, how much I punched him, he was still gonna aggravate me. <laughs> um, but I just wanna say, um, William, thank you. Thank you for taking him under your wing and taking care of him and everything. And y'all, the family, y'all already know. Y'all ain't gotta ask me now. Y'all know I'm here. Gonna be here. Um, love y'all. Jacquez, I love you, nephew. My son is named after Jacquez, too, for anybody that don't know. I named him after Jacquez. But um, just thank y'all. Love and appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for all the love and all of the true, genuine support um, that y'all have shown throughout this hard, hard, hard week and a half. Yeah. And y'all please make sure y'all sign the canvas. Please, yes, please, please, please sign the canvas. Please.
Okay. Thank you for watching, dudes. No, okay.